Hello, everybody. Here, Alessandro Sticchi on behalf of PCR Online uh, for, sh uh, for sharing with you the most exciting news from Euro PCR 2022. We have the great pleasure and honor to have here with us Prof. Rebecca Anna from Columbia University Medical Center. She, known his presentation, she's the greatest expert on precuspid valve, not only according to my humble opinion, but according to the extrascape. So uh, thank you very much, Prof. Anna, for being with us today. Thank you so much for inviting me. Prof. Ann, uh, I'd like to ask you about the one-year results of the CLASP-TR study. What uh, do these, res uh, these results tell us about the tricuspid valve repair and the uh, tricuspid edge-to-edge -edge repair? Well, th thank you for asking. Um, <clears throat> this was a, a, an important study for us because it, it started off uh, really in this early feasibility trial um, uh, with a limited number of patients. And this presentation obviously expands that cohort um, uh, now to over, over 60 patients. And um, the, the results are that, remember that Pascal is a new uh, tricuspid valve repair system that is um, uh, leaflet to edge uh, repair. And so we are indeed grasping uh, the leaflet edges together. And in this study, uh, we report the one year results uh, of the trial. Importantly, with this expanded cohort, we showed that the implant and procedure success rates were very, very high, 91 and 88% respectively, and that there was a learning curve so that there were greater TR reductions seen um, in the last half of uh, the enrollment versus the first half uh, um, that was reported earlier. And that in, in addition, there was marked reduction in tricuspid regurgitation from baseline. So clearly um, there was not only 100% of patients achieved a one grade reduction, but 75% of those patients achieved a, a two grade or more reduction. And that that reduction was sustained from 30 days um, out to one year. Um, in addition, we showed because of that, there was indeed um, a relatively low one year mortality rate. And so that mortality rate that was achieved um, was only 10.8% with a heart failure hospitalization of only 18.5%. And when you annualized the heart failure hospitalization reduction, there was a 56% reduction in that rate uh, compared to the year prior to enrollment into the trial. And so a significant uh, heart outcome uh, to see with these edge-to-edge -edge devices. And then finally, that was associated with improvements in quality of life and uh, functional capacity that were again, sustained and even improved over time. Uh, so we saw that the six minute walk distance actually from 30 days um, out to one year uh, increased. Now- uh, They are fantastic results, yes. What the next steps so in the evolution of uh, the edge-to-edge -edge repair? That, that's a great question. We obviously are now enrolling in the class 2 TR uh, pivotal trial. And so we will be randomizing patients with uh, severe tricuspid regurgitation. And remember, this was a trial that enrolled only severe uh, patients who they, we believed had, had severe or greater, so severe massive or torrential disease. And so the CLASP the TR randomized trial is again, looking at those patients, but randomizing to optimal medical therapy. Um, and so patients need to be on a stable but optimized medical regimen before enrolling in the trial. And I think that, you know, edge to edge plays a really important role in particularly tricuspid regurgitation because so many of our patients have functional disease. And in that setting where you have leaflet tethering and uh, marked annular dilatation, it's possible that annular repairs uh, may not be the answer for many of these patients. And that actually uh, grasping the edges of the leaflet, so edge to edge repair um, may serve a, a larger population of patients uh, than we've seen before. Prof. Ann, thank you very much for your kindness. See you in Paris. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.